Homelessness among veterans is a growing concern for Congress because veterans make up 23% of the adult homeless population. If three homeless adults are randomly selected, what is the probability that none of the three are veterans? Okay, so when I read this problem, I can see that it's asking me to find a probability. So it says, what's the probability? That's good. I know that that's kind of the path I'm taking in the problem. And then I want to be paying attention to how many items or things are randomly selected. It says we're going to randomly select three homeless adults. The reason why that matters is that if you're randomly selecting three things, you will generally need three probabilities multiplied together. If you're randomly selecting two things, you will generally need two probabilities multiplied together at some point to solve the problem. If you're randomly selecting one item, most of the time one fraction of probability is all you need. Even when it looks like there's more than one fraction when you're randomly selecting one item, it's often just the same fraction being expanded out, like you see in the addition rule of probability. So essentially what we're saying here is that we're going to need three probabilities and they'll need to be multiplied at some point to solve the problem. So we're dealing with the multiplication rule of probability. So let's start with a statement then that expresses what we're looking for. We're looking for the probability that when we randomly select three homeless adults, none of them are veterans. None are veterans. So the probability that among three homeless right, adults, None are veterans. I'm going to use V for veterans just to abbreviate, right? So probability that among three homeless adults, none are veterans. Okay, so with that in mind, I need to realize that this three randomly selected homeless adults is going to tell us something. That number three tells me how many fractions or how many probabilities I will need. So I'm going to draw three spaces to hold those probabilities, right? Because they're essentially three things occurring in the problem. I'll randomly select one person, homeless person, and I'll try to find out if they're a vet or not. Then I'll randomly select another one, and then finally another one. So each fraction here, or each bar here, is holding a probability that corresponds to each of those outcomes. Now, from here, I want to look at those fractions and just ask a question, and that question is, you know, what does that represent? What is that in the problem? Well, that's the act of selecting the first homeless adult, right? So you're going to write down, hey, that's the first homeless adult. That's how you go about solving these problems. You have to think about it as well, what's actually happening in the real world here in this problem. So we select the first homeless adult, and then we do what? Well, we determine that they are either a veteran or not. Now, in this problem, we want them to be not a veteran, right? Because it says none of them are veterans. So we're going to try to make sure that none of them are actually veterans. So we're going to write first homeless adult is not a veteran. I'm just going to use a V to abbreviate that. And then what we need to put in that space is the probability of that occurring. Well, it tells us that we know 23% of the adult homeless population is veteran. So what's left over from 100%, right? Because we need the probability that someone is not a veteran. So we just have to say, okay, look, if you take 100% and you subtract off 23%, what, are you, what do you get? What's the leftover amount, right? So the answer, of course, is 77%. So that is the percent of the homeless population that is not a veteran. OK, good. So that's the percent that goes in this space. We'll write it as a decimal, 0.77. And that's the probability that the first homeless person we take turns out not to be a veteran. Now, what's the second fraction, right? Well, we'll just change this a little bit because it's basically the same, right? It's the second homeless adult that we're selecting. And it's the probability that person is not a veteran again. So again, it should be about 77%. There is a question that should be coming up in your mind whenever you do multiplication rule of probability, and that is the question, is this independent events or dependent events, right? So are these events independent or are these events dependent? Well, what we're going to say about this one is that we can say this is virtually independent. What that means is that it's technically not independent because you would assume the researchers are not going to grab one you know, homeless person, find out if they're a veteran or not, put them back in the population, and then select that same homeless person again. Because, of course, why would you interview the same person twice if you already found out that person is not a veteran? So the fact is, is that this is selection without replacement, and that means that the population changes when you go back to get the second homeless person, right? It means that there are less homeless people to choose from than you had initially because you've eliminated one from the population. And then, of course, there's one less who is not a veteran, right? And that should change the probability, but it's going to be ever so slightly because we're only taking three 
homeless people out of the entire population of homeless people. So a rule of thumb is this. If you're taking, you know, your sample or your selection is less than 5% of the overall population, then you don't need to worry about whether it's independent or dependent. You can treat it all as independent. And the reason why is because the, the effect that that's going to have on the probability is going to be so minute that it won't turn up in any reasonable rounding of the final answer. So we're going to go ahead and put it as 0.77 again and say, hey, that's the probability that the second person selected is not a veteran. And then the same issue for the third one. Again, it should just be 0.77. So our final answer is 0.77 to the third power. And what we used here essentially is the independent uh, rule for multiplication rule of probability. OK, so let's go ahead and work that out. So we'll do 0.77 to the third power. And rounding it off to three decimal places, it's 0 0.457, 0 0.457. So 0.457. So that's the approximate solution then for this problem, or about a 45.7% chance that none of the three are homeless.